the current step of reducing the areas under APSFA in, in the areas of Nagaland, Manipur, Assam is a very, very welcome step. If you bring in development, peace will also follow. I don't blame the center for, you know, uh, I also blame the state governments uh, for not doing enough for uh, bringing development all by themselves. They have the power, they have the resources to do so. Hello, namaste, and a very warm welcome to Chitti Media. I'm your host, Sharan Sethi. The Indian government passed an extraordinary order, a historic decision today that is aimed at settling peace and bringing about peace in the Northeast region of the country. Joining me today for a conversation to discuss the AFSPA withdrawal in certain regions of the Northeast is Lieutenant General Dr. K. Himalaya Singh. Sir, namaste, thank you so much. And uh, thank you for joining namaste. us. Thank first you, all, thank you, Saran. First of all, my pranams to you for all the seva that you've done, sir. Uh, I wanted to begin by receiving your comments on uh, the central government's decision to reduce AFSPA in certain affected areas in the Northeast, particularly Assam, Manipur, and Nagaland. Uh, firstly, thank you, uh, Saran, for calling me on this. It's always a pleasure to be with you and also to be talking about ASFA. Uh, as you are aware that, uh, you know, the central and the state governments take a review each year. In fact, the extension of ASFA is normally done six months, uh, you know, frequency. And this is, I take it as a uh, exercise where the law and order situation and the violence le levels due to insurgency situation has reduced considerably. Therefore, rightly, the central government has uh, denotified the Disturbed Areas Act in certain parts of Assam, Nagaland, and Manipur. And with the denotification of the Disturbed Areas Act, automatically the Armed Forces Special Power Act uh, ceases to operate. Having said that, it is, uh, it's a continuous process. As you know, Mizoram, Tripura were also under the Armed Forces Special Power Act many years ago, and they are no longer under RASPA, depending on the insurgency and uh, law and order situation. However, Assam and Nagaland Manipur continued to be in some part. Even in Manipur, the, the valley area, the you know, greater Imphal area, the ASFA was no longer in existence since uh, I've been close to about 15, 16 years now. And uh, the current step of reducing the areas under APSFA in, in the areas of Nagaland, Manipur, Assam is a very, very welcome step as far as I'm concerned. And it shows the level of um, uh, the insurgency situation is uh, going down day by day. That's perhaps the reason why central government has taken this call, notwithstanding the fact that there in the last few uh, months, particularly after that outing and the moon uh, in Nagaland, that incident, there has been huge demand for uh, even repeal of uh, this act. So I think uh, overall it's a welcome step. It is indeed a very positive development uh, uh, coming from Delhi. Since the last five to six years, there's been a constant decline in the insurgency related activities. Uh, especially in the Northeast. Uh, and, you know, I just wanted to ask what worked well for this government, especially because there is a 74% decline as compared to 2014. So that is a very big number. I would say that, um, you know, the, the first thing is that um, the geopolitical, you know, situation 
the assistance by the insurgency situation has gone down to my mind due to certain reasons one is the one the foremost being the continuous pressure by the government all when i say government it includes the security forces uh, relentless operations by the army security forces against the, this has worked in a way however i think there is a gradual realization amongst the people of the northeast that whatever in, uh, you know uh, violence uh, that used to be the case in many many years ago is not going to solve the prob people's uh, you know problem and is not going to meet the aspirations of the people there is a growing realization within the society third is that uh, you know geopolitically things are changing in the region you know things are changing people see good lives people see you know uh, they want to do well in their lives they know that um, going into the jungles and fighting the security forces no longer achieve the end uh, desired uh, you know outcomes but there are still many issues in the northeastern region therefore i can't really say that you know um, in the future also there will be a complete peace as you uh, uh, you know as you alluded yeah no yeah, absolutely i mean the situation may not be hunky dory as you uh, correctly pointed out it all yeah. depends on how india also treats the particular region and how uh, you know the army also carries out its uh, operations with a lot of sensitivity but yeah. there is some positive change regardless and we are going to cherish that at the moment uh, yeah. so why has the government extended extended aspa in arunachal pradesh is a uh, is a question that is being uh, asked very popularly today uh see the in fact these three districts of arunachal which are neighboring myanmar and the nagaland they were already under um, disturbed areas act already aspa uh, was in operation in that area this you know particularly the nscn im and nscn kaplang group they are quite active in those areas in fact most of the violence or uh, incidents have taken place in those areas in the recent times and uh, there is a uh, also the uh, you know the activities of uh, interfactional clashes between nsc and im and nsc and k are quite prevalent in that area so i feel that extension is uh, in order in those areas particularly you know along the border areas as you know indo myanmar border is almost like a open border because of the free movement regime therefore the border areas will have to be uh, you know the armed forces or the security forces will have to be given certain powers uh, in order to maintain some semblance of um, uh, border security or border uh, management uh, in those areas so that's the reason why these uh, three districts are arunachal uh, pradesh the or it has only been given extension you know it was uh, coming to an end now it has been extended by another 6 months all these uh, these uh, disturbed areas are extended every 6 months but i must uh, having said that your you know the second query uh last about 6 to 7 years has seen a significant drop in the this uh, violence level Uh, i think it's a combined effort of the central and the state governments and uh, uh, primarily the credit go to the security forces so assam signed a border treaty with meghalaya after nearly 50 years of indian independence and uh, chief minister himanta biswa sarma said that this is an amrit kal which was an which was a very interesting term uh, he said to resolve issues with uh, bordering states like arunachal pradesh and for that matter meghalaya too uh, so what do you make out of this statement sir um i think um, similar i think this is also a very very welcome uh, you know step you know interstate boundaries in uh, northeast india are extremely sensitive because you know in rest of india we had the states reorganization committee on linguistics lines you know as you 
but somehow in northeast india it has been almost on identity lines you know ethnic identity lines so therefore that is the difference between the uh, you know how the states were formed in the rest of the india and the northeastern region so identity uh, you know becomes the primarily primary uh, you know uh, force for their you know statehood and also the borders so to that extent you know the as you know meghalaya and mizoram and nagaland they are all parts like a districts of assam uh, in, in the past so uh, it's got a long history so but uh, suffice it to say that it's a very very good beginning and uh, uh, i i can only wish the governments well because these ethnic and identity issues are so complex here in northeast india and it's a very, extremely good beginning and uh, uh, let's hope for the best and we don't repeat uh, that uh, the police of assam and mizoram firing at each other and that happened in uh, assam mizoram border a few months back so um, Uh, i feel that this is a very good step and uh, uh, a solution to interstate boundaries will also to a great extent uh, be dependent on the identity wars that are being fought right now uh, within the northeast india all these developments coming in does this actually give you a sense of hope that peace can be permanently achieved in the northeast i i totally agree with you uh, mr saran that i have always been saying that you know the question of which comes first is uh, you know uh, is does the you know uh, between development and uh, uh, peace i always say that if you bring in development if you empower the people if you bring in development peace will also follow it doesn't have to be necessarily the other way around that you know you bring peace and because peace is a, it's a uh, uh, it's a very relative term you know what is the meaning of peace and so development is concrete so therefore i feel that um, bring development and for development it doesn't have to be necessarily the central government driven the states can do a lot which i think we the they need to realize that uh, i mean um, so it didn't i don't blame the center for you know uh, i also blame the state governments uh, for not doing enough for uh, bringing development all by themselves they have the power they have the resources to do so so it's a very very welcome uh, uh, statement you are making that development will bring peace and that's also my um, uh, Uh, focus of my argument will be that absolutely sir we can only hope that uh, the region sees a lot of prosperity and the uh, and peace in the future yeah. and i'm sure um, it will be let's 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 all have hopes about that thank you so much sir every time i speak to you it's uh, it's a privilege it's an honor and i get to learn a lot from you thank you so much and i'm very humbled thank you very much thank you very much sir all the best to you bye bye thank you sir Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. For our other social media links, more content and to support our work, please visit citti.net. Dhanyawad. Namaskar.